G'day and welcome into part 10 of my campaign for Bree in Divine Conquer Total War mod for Medieval 2. Previously we left it off uh, with Angmar doing Angmar things. We got a couple of battles to fight this turn, a few sieges that are currently underway. Um, but the news from last last episode was we took Kazadun West, we took Bailuig. We have reasonable forces in both of them, although there's a lot of cav in this force. Um, Working up, getting some garrisons going. Um, the negative news is we lost Austin Athiel to the uh, stack that the uh, goblins got when we took Kazadoom West. So we have an army that is kind of ready to head down that way. Um, just get some farmhand pikes. I, I want to get some more units over to Huon um, just to defend there. Because Tohuan is now once again a border, so it's vulnerable. So we need to quickly take back Austin and Thiel and, uh, and get that back in our hands. So this is just so we don't have to have troops stationed here. Um, so we need to clear up these couple of armies. So we'll probably do that first. We also have another Angmar army over here to deal with. It's roaming around Hobbiton, uh, making an absolute mess. Making a mess uh, and impacting our, our income pretty pretty severely, I think. So... We need to get rid of a couple of these armies and then uh, keep moving across. I think this army is heading over to the goblins as well. Uh, we'll probably pick up some troops in Bree or retrain some troops. Gay Tangle, welcome in. Uh, so that will be the plan. And yeah, we're, we're under siege in quite a few places. Um, I did see a suggestion in the YouTube comments to trade Matraith. Matraith. Um, so not a bad idea. Um, but... I don't want them to die. I, I just have this fear that if, if the Dunedain die, we'll lose the access to our Dunedain units. I don't think we do, but I'm not I'm not willing to, to risk my campaign on it. Um, I'm quite happy to just have them alive in here. I mean, they're sending down... Gandalf's coming down with a couple of troops down here and helping defend Tharbad. So, they're kind of doing something. They're, they're keeping Tharbad um, not under siege. So, that lets me... Let me get troops here and, and send them around. So, so, there's a few things there, but I think, I think it's working out okay. Righto. So we do have a couple of flame wranglers, but from what I can see, quite a lot of snagger. Yes, my lord. Um, if we went to there, they would come in from our right. We hit them with the infantry. Hmm. And we'd catch the the flame wranglers. Let's do this. So by doing this, these guys should come in from our immediate right. Um, and we can catch this reinforcement army with the flame wranglers. Because really, there's not a lot of troops here. The troops are quite depleted. Like there's a couple of full units, but mostly it's it's depleted units. And the, the flame wranglers is, is the main strength of this. So it's three flame wranglers as well. So we can catch them as they come in off the on as reinforcements. The main army is yeah, like a decent chunk of black pit units. So that's actually a decent force. Um, but they're goblins still, after all. So we'll we'll start today off with a bit of a battle with the goblins, then we'll move over to, to Angmar. Muster your courage, men. I always don't get this battle. one right because it's not a it's not a corner, so you can't exactly know where they come in. And I think it varies. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm imagining things. But I think it has varied sometimes. Sometimes it's further towards the middle. Sometimes it's further towards the back. Um, oh, I should have left on the first one. Oh, we'll leave it there. So, our immediate right. So, it's somewhere along here. Alright. Now, I feel like I always deploy too far one way. Um, maybe I need to deploy more to the middle. I think so. But let's get our infantry sorted out. We don't have that much infantry in this army, do we? It's a bit of merchant militia. It's not the best force, but they, they are got the best armor and, and weapons, so um, that's that's something. So probably just stretch all the way from, from here, yeah? Go from here and then we'll and then we'll sort ourselves out. But we need to get those flame wranglers out of commission. It can't be firing. Um, so we'll go like that. We then have our archers. Um, who will probably have to be shooting the main line as it comes in. 
and we'll try and charge them a little bit with the cav, get them, I'll get the archers over here up on this ground, see if we can shoot across, um, so we'll see what we can do there, just put them there like that, hold fire, um, general, come over here, probably behind the archers, stay nice and safe, um, and then the cav can just try and disrupt, disrupt this first army a little bit, just, just hold them up. Alright, let's see how we go. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Nice, we guessed it correctly. So I think I think a little bit more to the middle when they're in that situation uh, is is the better call. So we want to their main forces are in here. So let's keep it nice and tight about here. So most of these are these are goblin trash. So you know we gotta gotta believe that we can beat them. Uh, can you move up to here? No, not you, sorry. You stay here. Just you ones. Come over to here. Up to that. Okay. Okay, Cav. You have halberds to deal with over here. What are you? Oh. I mean, sure. Fire. Uh, probably, probably make it back to the main line, honestly. I, I forgot about you. Uh... <laughs> I mean, if all things being equal, I forgot about you. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay, deal with that warg pack. Okay, you lads are all in position. Keep an eye on the cav. Um, not really a good spot for you to fire, is there? Not really. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to swing back around, include you in there as well. And you lads are going to set up to start firing at that other enemy coming across. Okay. Can we, what are we, saying stalkers, get over here. See if we can't do something out on these flanks. Yeah, this black pit infantry we can hit. As long as we hit them with two caveats at the same time. Okay, how are we going in the middle here? This is where the halberds are at. This is their, their best unit. Um, looks like we are doing quite well on this flank. So can I just pull this wooden unit around? This wooden unit armoured up and, and with the weapons upgrades should do pretty well. Yeah, we are we are winning this winning this battle pretty well. Um them. Alright, so you just get you back in the middle. We need some more support. These lads here. So black bit infantry. The enemy are badly bloodied. Halberds, halberds, don't charge any of that. Hold men. back. Uh, so we're just delaying. Nice. The enemy general lies dead. Now we don't want these guys to get away, but now the general's routing, they might actually. Um these guys again. In with the goods. Charge back. Yeah, okay, I think. There's Mount Nurix. There are quite a few running off the field. Don't really want that. We want them to die. So if we could avoid trying to just morale route them and just try and fight them the old fashioned way, nice and slow. Uh, right, so you two are done. Can you form a bit of a line over here. Uh, where are we going? Alright, so how we go over here? Snag of Stalkers, pull back, what do we got? Black Pit Infantry, perfect. We'll take that out. Snag of Stalkers are holding up actually reasonably well. I, mean, I guess it's only Merchant Cab, but still. I mean, we only lost two. <laughs> it's a... We just avoid these halberds like the plague. Okay, charge in. back. Snake Stalker should fall. A little counter secondary charge there. Okay, pull back. Pull back. How are we going back over on the line? Okay, can we can we get around behind? 
Trying to get around behind that. Okay. Black pit, black pit. Over here. Face down there, snagger. Stalkers. Right. How are we going? You get over to here. Set this line. You move a little further along. Set that line. Okay, archers. You in range? No. Okay. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Blackpit infantry is surrounded. They should be going down. Should be going down. Should be going down. I think we've got pretty much those stalkers. Okay. Nice. Pull out. Okay. How are we going? Okay. Archers. Fire at will. Um, along with infantry. Okay, set up a line here. Hold position. Cav. Yeah, just don't don't run into those guys. Okay, how are we going? What do we got? Blackbeard halberds. Okay, run the halberds around. We have no interest in charging into them. Right, I think it's done going pretty well. Got rid of those flame wranglers. Oh, archers over there. Well, let's, let's take them out. <laughs> They have no right to be sitting there. You come around and chase these ones that are routing. Speed things up. Hello, archers. G'day. How are ya? Yeah. The battle is very not, much in not our very favor. well, Victory is the answer. Get out of the way. Right. We're good. Let's shoot them as they come in then. Give them a nice uh, Brie welcome, eh? A friendly welcome in Brie. We love to welcome our guests. You know, sit them down, boil a couple of, cut a cup of tea, you know. Let them know they're welcome. Um, welcome to die in this case. This black pit. Albert's Okay. The most value we can out of our of our archer line. Okay, keep firing firing to that. Alright. Cav come around. Now they've committed. They should wrap pretty easily now that the rest of the army's gone. We got here. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay. Sweep around. Give a nice little recharge. That should do the job. Yep. See you later. Same with you. Come over here. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay. Flat. The enemy general flees. Behold nice. how our cowardly foe runs. Okay, uh, hold fire, hold fire. Just chase that one down, and we're good. Uh, there was a general, I don't think it's the... I've been getting burnt a little bit lately, but I think that was because the, um, the AI let him go, not me, when I was fighting with khazad -Dum. But maybe it's because the captain didn't die, I don't know. I've been confused on a couple of occasions. One was explainable, how fast are these guys? I mean, you're on horses. You're not even exhausted. Chase them down. My goodness. All right, captain's gone. That should be fine. Perfect. How much do we heal? Twenty-two percent lost. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. It's, not, it's nothing incredible, is it? But it's better than nothing. It's almost what you get without a general. But so this general must be pretty useless. I think he's fresh. He's fresh out of the. <laughs> fresh out of the. <laughs> the Shire. He's gone, uh, no, that's shy, probably. Out of Brie. Fresh out of Brie. He was quietly just minding his own business, planting his potatoes. Someone tapped him on the shoulder and said, You're next. You've been conscripted. Welcome to the army. In fact, not just welcome to the army, you're leading it. Yeah.
unlike unlike other armies where you have to conscript uh, for the troops, in Bree you have to conscript the the generals. Um, everyone's happy to fight. Just no one wants to be in charge. Um, this is. <laughs> this, I have no idea if that's lore accurate at all, but I'm going with it. It sounds great. Your orders, my lord. Okay. How much do we lose here? Enough to merge? I don't think so. Still a reasonably strong force. What do we got? Two arch units. Yes, my lord. Okay, so I think, yes, I think we'll bring lord. you with us. Oh, well, there is an infantry in there. If we merge, lord, what do we get? Yes, my lord. One of you are reasonably low. We might lord, trade you lord. out for a fresh, yes, fresh one, and maybe even change out this one for a fresh cav. Although it's not armored. There is, there's something to be said for the armor. All right, we might just have them trail along behind as a secondary force. Okay, so that's the first little fight we had to do this to end of this turn. This one over here as well. Now this is a river crossing. Now we do have quite a few archers, I think. Uh, four, five, four or five archers. Only four, I think. No, five. I I I I change five. Uh, so we want to approach it straight on. I don't know if it makes any difference, but let's go straight on. Yes. Now do, it's not a bridge though. Come and get me. As long as they don't have artillery, we should be fine. Marching to war. Yeah, they don't have artillery, so we should be able to draw them across. I mean, there are some really good units in here, my goodness. Northguard units, Rudar Huskals. Yeah. These units scare me. They are very, very good. I don't have my sturdy farmhand pikes to, <laughs> to hold the line against the Northguard. That's actually, like, legitimately probably the most cost-effective unit against Northguard, is the farmhand pikes. Because anything else that I have, probably even, I think even Sindar Axman, anything else I have is, is just going to trade negatively. It's just going to be a negative trade. Like, given enough time, the farmhand pikes will eventually beat the North Guard. Now, lads, to arms. Just be I don't think there's a, a single other unit I have that could solo beat the North Guard <laughs> units. It's interesting to think about like that. But the elves have been retrained. So our elves are, are rocking and ready to go. I mean, this guy's not retrained at all. What are you doing in this army? Well, you probably need to stay in Bree for a little bit longer. Um, so then we have five archers. Uh, can we put the crossbows up on this little hill here? So let's just start with something like that and then keep you in the back. You're the, the captain, keep you alive. And what do we want our front line to be? We'll just you lads to take the charge and then we'll, we'll hit him with something a little more substantial. Um, they have shields. Um, A lot of swordsmen in this army, I like that. Okay. Hmm. Righto. Hopefully we don't have to cross the river. Are they coming forward a little bit? Are they coming forward? They are coming forward. If we can, if we can get the shots on them. Yep, they're in range. Nice. Okay. Um, what are you going to shoot at? Don't bother about shooting the north guard. Okay, could you hit the those ones? The uh pikes. Huskulls. Huskulls. Just shoot in there. Honestly, oh, so just everything shoot in there. They are coming. Okay, uh, can we bring up another unit? That Merchant infantry up on the flanks. Shoot in the back. Fire. As long as they're clumped, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Keep firing. 
Oh, what is this? If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Let him have it. North guard are initiate. Archers keep firing into this. Fire into this blob. So they fire at the north. Fire at the north guard? No, you keep firing at the archers. North guard. Fire, aim at that. Yeah, yeah, just let him stand there. That's great. Look at this. Okay, I think we're cleaning up anything that came at us. Apart from this north guard, it's just tearing a hole through us. Um, Only half the enemy force can we remains. get around the back a little bit? In the front. I mean, they're being very polite and standing there for us. It's very nice of them. Okay, this north guard. Yep, they've routed. Perfect. What are we firing at here? Firing this, firing this. I think the north guard unit moved. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Fire into that. You have a good line of sight? Yeah. Crossbows have a nice line of sight. Probably just pull you guys back a touch now. Okay, let them have it. Let's go. Get our Huskars, clean them out. We haven't killed their general. Can you? No, no, no. Go after them. Alright. Through the middle. Right. Cav. Chase him down. Fire into this. Okay. I knew this would be pretty bloody, but I think. I think we got some nice nice trades there with the Archer Fire. Pretty favorable for us, really. Uh, stand front on. Stand front on. Face them down. Okay. What do we got? Are they firing at us? No, they're out of range. That's cool. So let's just make use of our... Um, use of these guys. Man, these, probably shoot these ones because they're going to run away at us. Come on, come on, cross, come on, crossbows. You can kill two. I mean, there's two guys. They're on horses. They're a big target. You have a clear line of sight. Thank you. Okay. So that's everything taken out. Uh, is this a raider? That's a marauder. So they're going to run in. They're going to try and... Oh, they don't have skirmish mode, I don't think. So let's just go. Let's go. Cav over there as well. Hello, Dark Blades. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Good, good. And a little tap. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Nice. It's time to press the attack. Okay. Now, should we lose? 23%? Not too bad, not too bad. Um, I'm hoping that we get quite a few of them back. At least the ones that were shot shot at range. They're doing a good job chasing them down. Ah. Be awed by the victory we have uh, won here. Three percent. As I said, not much, <laughs> not much better than where I had the general. A. Well, I need a touch worse, really. Not much better when I had the general. 145 watchman bowmen. Gatekeepers 343. Yeah, they got to fire. That's, they're good. If they get to fire, it was good. Cinder Archers 186. I think I wasted a lot of ammunition at one point from about half their ammunition to I'm talking most of the most of the archers. I wasted a fair bit. Um, I thought it was still sitting in the middle of the unit and it had gone away. So I think I just shot a whole bunch of ammunition at uh, at like ten dudes that weren't weren't overlapping with the others. That's what happens when you plan at time six, isn't it? That's still pretty good. That's cleaned up that army. I'd like to clean up this other one that's hanging around Bree as well. Execute. Man of the hour. In your name, my lord. No. Damn it. So. Your 
will, my lord. Order. I can't remember the hour for now. I slot, I don't think. Um. Yeah, keep coming. We'll try and get this army as well. We need to need to clear them out. Today. Yeah, even just taking them out gave us like an extra three thousand, extra three thousand for the next turn, just to clear them off that land. I think it's blo mainly blocking trade. Painful. Now we still have rats, not rats. Yeah, plague over here, so we are retraining. That's good. Yeah. My lord. Now we've got five k gold. So have I? Am I saving for something, or have I just? I think I'm building everywhere. I think I'm just building everywhere. I think we're all set. So that means I could get some more troops, but I don't. I think most of my tro troop recruitment places are, are pretty much maxed out. I mean, it's only the farmhand pikes I could probably grab. Um, think about just grabbing these Breland militia just to chuck into Hewen, but I really don't want to. Grab those merchants. We, we're still using them. They're okay. They're all they're all pretty armored up, all shiny looking. So we will grab them. Oh, Argon's got some troops. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Now the lumbermen. We haven't really we haven't used the lumbermen at all. Um, they're very good early game, like really hard hitting five attack effective against armor. But late game, they're just very very fragile. It's Two hundred of them. Good charge. Um, excellent stamina effective against armor. Yeah, they just they just don't fit into a late game army. They're, they're good early game, but I didn't really utilize them. We'll grab those three Your and you four. Ordered. Keep marching. Over you go. Yes. Keep them going. As many troops heading over to the goblins as we can. Um, now with these armies, I think we're just happy to let them sit. We don't want to rally out here, or do I'm we? You. Have a spy. My Let's spy it. What's in this army? Approach. Ooh, only two cav, and they're both scouts. Could make good use of our cav here. Because we haven't. Or oh, one turn on militia. Actually, one turn on militia garrison. If we if we were two turns on militia garrison, then I would have I would have gone rallied out, but. I think with the getting the militia garrison, it's more cost effective to to wait. We'll wait and trade that way. Could you guys clear like take Zag Color or something? Like do something. Come on, elves. Go and do it. All right. Gonna have some uh, some sieges and turn. That's that's looking or all, all very. <laughs> it's looking a lot better. Was it looking very much better? Uh, <laughs> it's looking a lot better already. Just taking out those few armies. Yeah, kill him. Nice. Very good. Where was any? Oh, I don't know. I think there's a general in that army. Yeah, I was gonna try and hire some mercenaries around Kazadum, but there's no general in that army. Goblins are getting closed in on. So I just think so when will the next stack spawn? So this is so they have one, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah, five settlements. So it's still a fair while away, really. Take back this one. I mean, take one more, and then take another one, and that's when it'll spawn. So think about when, which ones we want to take there. Now that army in Austin Thiel did not move. Kind of want to trap it there if we can. Yes, my lord. Uh, now could we? Yeah, we'll just send them as reinforcements. So send you down honor, and have you join in just behind. As you wish. Secondary March stack. Death stalks the land. Soldiers are getting killed. Some anyway. Let's just retrain. Okay. Now they didn't siege us. I mean, they kept. They kept sieging us. One. This army hasn't moved. 
They s oh, that is... It's good that we got the walls. That's all I can say. It's good that we got the walls. My goodness, we're going to have troubles. If they hit us with both those armies at once... Oh, I don't know if we can hold that. That's going to be the whole of a century if we hold that. We don't have we don't have high quality troops there. Not not across the board. Gondor, Gondor's doing it. Gondor's doing it. Okay. Uh, first things first. Kazadun West. Get the military garrison. Um, Fenestrunen. We've got the garrison here. Yep. So now I go for. Next culture building. We train him. Um, yeah, Fornos to get the armor. Okay, everywhere else is kind of a bit whatever. Uh, yeah, so we we'll just go uh, Forlond, something cheap. I guess making us. Let's go for the cheap ones. This one, I like to keep things constructing. Trading posts. Loniac. Hmm. Well, I'll queue up. I'll queue up the stronghold. Far bad. I think we can just get you know, anything really. Probably get the merchant vaults, merchant bank. Okay. Are we making nine thousand next turn? Why? Why all of a sudden are we making less? It's because we're under siege in a, in a variety of places, but still. We did clear a bunch out. I think it's just because we're under siege in heaps of settlements. Like they're blocking our trade out of. Ca I think. I think we. Had, I think we could go out and kill these guys. Just, oh, it's just so short on. I guess we have the troops to back us up here now. Yeah. So we will sally out there. My we'll lord, go for that. That's probably the first thing we'll do. So let's let's sally out here. Your will, my lord. Orders. To war, then. We do. We are heavily, heavily outnumbered. Um, however, they're goblins. We got a lot of cav. So we just gotta really use the cav here. And we are one to one to three. One to three outnumbered. Shit. Okay. Um yes, Preparing the men to attack. Maybe, maybe we have a bit off more we can chew here. Uh <laughs> this could be a disaster. I need to clear these guys out. Regaining the upper hand in this battle. Oh, it's daytime. Nice. It's not the misty nonsense. Is that because we own it now, not the goblins? Or I guess I guess we're out of the valley. The down in the valley it gets mistier. We're we're out of the valley a little bit. Different battle map. Okay. So our general is the cell sword. Perfect. Yeah, so Cav really has to do some work here. We'll probably ride with them first. I look a little bit, a little bit weak. And then... I think we kind of just got a corner camp. If we get surrounded, then we're we're toast. Um, we can't we can't fight surrounded. Probably won't corner camp right down there, but we'll, we'll definitely hold, hold over here in this area. Uh, you first. So somewhere around here looks decent on this little ridge line. Let's do that. Keep you alive. And then yeah, our front line is kinda kinda lacking, isn't it? One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. Yeah, we're 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 like <laughs> I'm in danger. 
Uh, okay, so the Cavs just really got to really got to pull their weight here. But if we knock this army out, there's pretty much nothing else in the area, unless unless Dunlin sends an army out. So we can't can't get lazy with this. Let's only go to times two. Now, is there an opportunity for a charge right down the middle? Let's just see. Let's see if we can get him interested. Oh, hold up, hold up. We gotta deal with these wargs. Over here. It's gonna be a bad charge. Don't stay in, don't stay in. I just need to get their attention. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, so if we've got their attention, that's, that's all we're looking for. Get over here. I'm going to pull them apart a little bit here. No, they're not, not playing ball. Who's routing? Excuse me? That's a better one. Flat, flat, flat. We hit. Ah, uh, bullet. I just wait, just wait. These Eric Overseers. Try and pincer them. Okay, pull back a little bit to the, a little bit to the side. Go back. Eric overseers are doing pretty well. Probably don't want to fight in prolonged with them. Just get out. How are we going? Two percent to three percent. Not really what I'm looking for. But the Eric overseers are a nice catch. The feat seems almost certain. Pull back. Go keep. Don't don't engage with those those lads. Okay. Thinking about routing. Do you have them surround full surround off there? Black pit infantry. Goblin band. Get over here. Let's try and get some side charges. How are they going? They, they're routing. Nine. Come on, there's nine left. Fully surrounded. We've got them, right? Nine. They're wavering. Seven. Stay in. Stay in. Okay, can you guys pull over a little bit? A little bit of a... Okay, got him. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Go, go, go. Now you stalkers. Now you archers. No, no, don't go near them. Hunters. Get him. Nice little side charge. Back, flat, 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 flat. No, 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 no. Don't fight that, don't fight that, don't fight that. Get away. Ignore it, ignore it. Get over here, get over here. Run away, run away. Get over here, you lads. What do we got? Saint Stalkers, yep. Give them a go. Goblin Infantry are fine, charge into that. Get these all hunters. Okay, archers, fire into the back here, fire into the back.
Charging through. Go, go, go. Flat, 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 flat. Blackbird halberds are the main issue here. Broken, good, 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 good. Okay, pull out, pull out. Don't engage. Okay, what do we got? Goblin infantry, hit him. Backing on them. Okay. Back around. Can we can we have some support. I oh, know they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Chase them down, chase them down. Should be a pretty good charge there. Recharge, pull out. Them. Them. Go, go. Keep moving, keep moving. Pass them down. Big involved. Okay. Whew. Okay, get on that. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. That's right, him. Nice. Good, good. Perfect. There we go. 78%, so need to kill a few more. Oh, no, no, help us, help us, help us. Hold him in, hold him in. It'd be food prepping time, Tetra. Welcome in, by the way. Hello, hello. Give them something to think about as well. Hit them on both sides. Let's go. They're routing. Okay, next target, next target. Beautiful. So it took that one, one to three. Perfect. Hey, time six. Huh. Oh, yeah, I'd say I'd say that went well. Oh, that went very well. Woo! Uh, the fact they sent out their wargs, um, they they could have intercepted our our cab with their wargs, and they didn't. That pretty much just won the battle. Nine percent. Okay. Our foe is utterly Even healed a little bit. And all who remember this day. Remember Enjoying my holidays. I am uh, finding few times few and far between to get online to stream Tetra. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm on today. The everyone is everyone else in the house is asleep. Um, the bub is down. Mama's mama's down. Uh, the other the other child is is having a nap as well. I think so. It's it's all. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. I mean, it's Sunday today. Bring my riders two eighteen. Yeah, look at the amount that we we caught on route. Yeah, that's, what you have, that's how you got to play with goblins. You got to route them, separate them, break them up. You might even say, uh, you know, divide and conquer them. <laughs> you surprised them live at all? Well, I got I got to keep I got I got to at least do a stream every second day uh, to keep uh, keep my YouTube videos gumming out to my my loyal. 
my loyal viewers i gotta i gotta keep the uh keep the videos coming so yeah at least every couple of days jumping on and uh and at least doing a total war stream but yeah i haven't i haven't really been doing anything in between haven't done any dota streams haven't done any north guard streams nothing else because most of the time i'm sitting here until four or five in the morning nursing a baby so so miss zpm can get some sleep um now we could advance here but yeah there's a whole stack so we're not we're not doing that <laughs> we're not doing that let's just chill back here again because yeah we can't retrain units here yet or even close to being able to do it so this is and we oh and we also have like an army behind us I kind of forgot about the I'm fact that there's a whole stack of goblins literally behind us. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Good thing we did take that battle pretty well. Should edit some compilation videos for YouTube. Tetra's weird hellos. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes. One, if I was good at editing, and two, if I if I had time for such things. Yes, my lord. Oh, we can retrain some units. Your orders, oh, they, they broke the siege, did they? Orders. They broke the siege. Be gone. Okay. Well, that gives us a chance to get the military garrison up. And get this spy out and works. Now, first thing I want to check with this spy is, is there anything in this area here? No, it would appear not. So now, you're going to be used to come down here. Approaching Why don't you get past here? Tomorrow's no? journey Apparently not. Out. So you're gonna go that way. Back up on this hill, just to give vision in this area. Osul is that's gonna be a that's gonna be a tough, 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 tough defense. But everywhere else is still looking good. Can we retrain any units here. We get some more, but I think we use that gold uh, in Bree just to retrain some units in this army after we take this fight. Now. We do have generals in here. Ah, oh, he, he got ready this turn. That's good. Your will, my lord. I respect so, you, we don't want them sitting here. They're, they're just killing our income right now. This army sitting here. So, we need to get rid of it. So, what we're going to do is come to here. Yes. Then put yes, you two orders, into this army. Yes. Assembling a mighty host. And then only bring them Let on if I need reinforcements. On the field of so I don't really want to injure any of these ones because they're all ready to go. They're all set set to ready to fight. Same with these guys. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go... Some bandits as well. Go attack. To battle. Glory, honor, victory. Nick? Why is Nick in command? Why is Bilbo not in command? Excuse me? Who's this guy? He's fresh. Why is Bilbo not in command? You can't tell me this guy's a better general than Bilbo. What is going on here? This guy... Uh, this is... Just, this is... Just, this is ridiculous. I'm going to look at that after the battle. This is ridiculous. Um, yeah, should be fine. We'll lose some troops, but... We attack. Nick's an amazing general. That's Nick. It's an amazing general. <laughs> Nick's... Nick is not an amazing general. I think Nick has some friends in, in high places, you know? He's got some friends on the council. Uh, <laughs> he's been lining some pickets, some pickets, some pockets. He's been picking some pockets. Look at this guy. Look at this Nick. Look at him. He's useless. Whereas Bilbo, I'd take Bilbo any day. I mean, Bilbo is looking quite spry for a uh, for an older Hobbit. Maybe, maybe he's younger, but uh, he's, look, he's looking quite spry. <laughs> Bilbo doesn't have a custom model. That's just a standard one. Um, his dad's the butcher, after all. Definitely friends in high places. Yeah, in Bree. I mean, having having your dad being the butcher. I mean, that's that's about as high as it gets. As high as it gets. All right. So, we'll try and draw them in, see if they want to come to us. I think they will, because they'll sense that they've probably got better units than us. Well, we do have some elves. I do, I do love elves. And some elves in my army. So, you go to there. Units 
Uh, let him come. Um, we'll protect. We'll protect Nick with the elves. Um, here we go. You can have an elven, elven bodyguard. Uh, defense. Uh, let's see if they come to us. Ooh, I don't think so. When they don't deploy right at the front, yeah, they're like, nah, we want to go elsewhere. That's okay. We got we got archers, so we'll we'll shoot them. Assemble the men. This is a nice little hill here. Let's go. I mean, the only the only position of power higher than the butcher um, is is probably the baker. So. Yeah, I mean, look at this guy. He looks like a butcher's a butcher, doesn't he? The butcher's son. He's been well fed. The old chubby cheeks, chubby cheeks, Nick. Are we in range? We don't have any Dunedain units. We do have the elves. What's the elves' range? Just have interest. I think it's yeah, only one ninety. It's just the same as the one eighty watchman. I, mean, I didn't even check the Bandabras archers. Are they coming? They're sending their... They're, they're trying to... Yeah, you want to bring them, we'll shoot them. I'm, I'm in the mood to shoot some, some wargs. I mean, I'm always in the, in the mood to shoot some wargs. Let's press forward again. Run this time. Get to position. They're coming up. Now, these are Macram Raiders. Macram Raiders. So, they are longbowmen, though. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we just charge those longbowmen. Yeah, you feel me? No, they're gonna they're gonna wait. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get our cav ready to charge in. Slow things down a touch. Grand Raiders. How far are the raiders coming? Give it to him. Shoot him. Uh, don't shoot that though. Don't shoot the spinny circle. We don't shoot spinny circles. Landsman. Fire at the infantry coming in. Get them. Give it to them. Quite a, quite a little skirmish here first before the lines meet. Okay. Fire at the Witch Knights. Let them have it. Hold. Hold the line. Okay, Cav, let's, very much let's go. Favor. Victory will be ours. Now, Macram Marauders are, like, probably the best just orc unit, probably apart from Azog's Defilers. So, we do have to, uh, I mean, war unit. Like, they're pretty strong. Um, yeah, Macram Marauders, they're, they're, they're a pretty good unit. Okay, so, Archers, change fire over onto this. Find that. Let them have it. They have ammunition. They're coming in. You're focusing my elves. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's go. Give me a charge here. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They don't have much of a front line. Most of it was wargs and, and archers. Archers fire at this one instead. Hit him with the charge. After him, after him. Hey, we broke that side. Very nice, very nice. They're still fighting? My goodness. It's like a little bit. Oh, there's a war unit in there. Hold up. Let's go.
Okay, that should get rid of them. I'm hoping. And these wargs are annoying. I hate them with every fiber of my being. I get archers. Hold fire, hold fire. Probably hold fire altogether. Don't fire at anything. Actually, probably fire at these damn. Fire at them. You can hit them. Point blank. Give it to them. You're out of ammunition. Elven archers, come to here. What's going on the rest of the battle? Are we, are we winning? Are we winning? What's going on? Over here. Archers fire. Shooting these guys is the best way to kill them. Realistically, you get it here. Let's get going. Let's get going. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Us. Press onward. Perfect. Break the spirit of his army. Shoot him a bit. Shoot him a bit. Kill him. Kill him. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and make it so he can see us defeat the rest of his who's, army. Who's still fighting? Oh my goodness, it's these guys. Shoot them. The enemy army right. flees the field. Pursue and run them down. This is a clear victory. Okay. I think quite a few healed there. A decent amount. I for one rather enjoy shooting the shooting the spinny circles. No, 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 you don't shoot the spinny circles. What the tr the trick is, you don't target the spinny circles because then all the arrows will miss. You you shoot the unit that's standing still next to the spinny circles, and the arrows as collateral will hit the dudes in the spinny circles. I've learnt from experience. Shooting at spinny circles is not, uh, not, not a good idea. Oh, fourth win. You didn't win this time. More like fourth lose. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Execute. <coughs> Your enemies lie defeated. Good. Glad they lie defeated. My lord. Um. That you weren't telling the truth, defeated. Ah! It's two in 30 seconds for you. Oh, I'm feeling on fire. Yes, my lord. Right. You two, jump back in here. Leaving the army. You lads. Your will, my lord. You're all set, aren't you? My lord. So you go to here. You, wait, you lads get into here my now. Let's, let's do some will, retraining. Merge. What do we got? What do we got? Right, so we'll retrain all of you. That next turn. Actually, I should queue you up now because there's some things being queued up, isn't there? Let's just uh, get that sorted. Oh, yeah. I think some of them haven't got their armor upgrades and weapons upgrades either. Uh, that fort is wasting away. Your will, my lord. Oh, almost. One, two, three. Your will, my lord. Guess it in there. Save a little bit of money. Elves. I mean, you're not going to re retrained, are you? As we go sit in, go sit in that. Save a little bit of money. Every little bit counts. Right, so that was one, two. Sparketta is still being sieged. Hey. I I attack. If they don't attack this turn, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned, you know. Occasionally the AI just kinda bugs out and doesn't attack and just sieges, just sieges you out. Um, normally it's because they don't have any infantry in the army. I know that happened with Can when I'm in my Dale campaign, but um Sometimes they just don't. Oh, this is no, this is good. No, this isn't good. Don't spread your armies like that. That's that's army army management for dummies. That's not how you do it. 
I hate doing it all. So we do have a free mercenary unit there ready to go. Oh, grab them. And you need to be retrained, but that's no room there at the moment. You four. Um... Over here. Yes. Jump in this fort. March to get there next turn. Preemptively save ourselves a little money. Will, to Hewan, get that farmhand pike over there. Get him in there. Give him the goods. Give him a bit of give him a bit of armor. Some weapons. I don't know. Anything you can anything you can spare. Your order, your will, my lord. Okay. Okay, Cody Atkins. Looks like Bilbo is cost Bree 600 gold per turn. Shouldn't be. He should be making a ton of money there. <laughs> you certainly don't know what's going on. You should have learnt more by now. This is true, Tetra. You should have learnt more by now. I've looked, Bree, uh, Bilbo's got like an insane, he's like max level acumen. Um, there could be just other factors going on there, I think. Okay, this is going to be very, very, very hard. We got Captain Farman, who's got a stack of mainly Iron Crown units, some Dark Blades. There are some Thralls, some lower tier units, but still not many. The Captain is a Mount Grand Marauder, which is perfect. He'll charge in and hopefully die. So giving us the morale boost we need, or at least negative morale boost we need. That's the first one. Now the second army, which is the reinforcing army, it actually has a proper general. Now it's just a witch knight. Um, there's no north guard in any of these armies, which is which is good. They're still very good units, all the North, all the uh, Iron Crown units, but still. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. Now, it is just occasionally, you can just see how it's like taking a little bit longer there. That's sometimes a sign that the game is chugging for some reason. Now, we did get the next tier of walls up here, which is going to make all the difference. Foes appear to be gaining the oh, because it's a battle. knight battle. That's why it's chugging. Knight siege battles, the the game does not always appreciate. We'll see how this goes. If this ends in me having to auto win this because it crashes, oh, you've been pre-warned. Right. So let's have a look. We have... This is the attacking force coming in. So we have two siege towers. Now they shouldn't go down. Although I think these towers were buffed. At least when I was playing Isengard, they seem to be buffed. Um, okay, so we got Halberdiers and Angmar and Infantry on the ladders. Okay, so the Halberdiers will be hard to bring down. Plenty of rams, so they'll definitely be getting through the gate. So yeah, we're just going to have to defend the wall all along this side. It's going to be very painful on the wall. Other side though... We want to get those free kills from the towers as this lot move around. So, we want to set up probably the cav. Like here. Yeah, okay, just go here for now. Can you stand here, please? What is going on? Go there. So, go there. Um, and probably on this. Which way are they going to run? I reckon they'll mostly run this way. So, we'll just have the other cav units sitting here ready. Activate these towers. That should get those four plus these three. Might have gotten some negative trades. Bree was at around 2001 when he was there, then making around 270 when he was out of settlement after the battle and dropped immediately back to 2100 as soon as you put him back in. Um, maybe the other general is is governing that's in there. I'll have to have a look. I'll have a look. Definitely I'll have a look when we when we get back to our turn. But he's he's been uh Bree has been making around five thousand a turn. Um, Cody Atkins. It's just that it devastation knocked it down low, um, so it has been making around five thousand a turn with with Bilbo as the as the general as as the governor. So I I, I really don't think there's any issue. I think it's just um, 
other other factors. I'll have to have a look. So that's those most of those towers activate. If they're walking around here, we want these ones going as well, but we should be able to shuffle the cavalry along. I think what I'll do is I'll just put one, probably the general we'll use as well as a tower activator. So you come over here and grab this one for now. And then I'll run you along. Probably want one more unit to activate towers. So these will be my four units that I use to activate towers. Um, is there good archer positions or do I use one of those? Spot here. How goes the war? Yes, going well actually. We're, we're making some good progress against the goblins. Mm, can they reach that position? Actually there. Can you reach? Yeah, you can. Okay, so that's good. Go there. And but it's only just in range. So you go there and you go here. Move out. And you can actually fire back onto the walls as well. So that's good. So you two can reach there. That's good. And now I'm looking at this position here. Overlooking. The, I think the Dwarven Travelers can go on this spot. So if we go like... About there. And that'll overlook the gate as well. And here. And that should give you... Yeah, you've got enough range. Perfect. Okay, so we're really going to focus on... And this is the side the ladders are coming up. So we'll really... We can use the archers on this side. Okay, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, this side is not so good. It's a little bit far. A little bit out of range. So we need that one last unit to be on... Probably this one. He's pretty low. Oh, no. This... Yeah, just use this one. So you will be also a tower activator. So come over here. Make sure those towers are firing. And then we'll shuffle those units around. I think they'll head. I think they'll head this way. Is is my my thought? But you four are tower activators, right? So now the rest of you are defending the the gates. <sighs> we want one, two, three on the deck, dealing with the wargs. So that's the first and obvious thing to do. The Smeagol Golem make an appearance in this game. Yeah, he does. If you get the ring, uh, he can be an an ancillary. Um, on the person does has some effects. Not not as a character, not as like a playable character, but, but as an ancillary. So then we want what's on these ones? Oh, axemen swords. Okay, so the swords don't have effect against armor. So merchant infantry we find to hold against them. So we put the merchant's infantry here. Now I love these walls. These are actually in ways better than the the thick the the wooden wall of oh, the, the the stone walls. Um, obviously, stone walls you get ballista towers, but because they're not as wide, it takes longer to fight on the walls, so that lets the towers do more work. Um, it's just a small thing, but it does make a bit of a difference. Now, against these lads, I'm just going to put these bandits. Yeah, they can just hold here, because um, I don't really care too much about them. So that's one and two. Sort them out. Then on this side, we'll probably just put... It wasn't effective against armor, was it? They are. So we'll once again put merchants against the non-effective against armor unit. And against the effective against armor unit, we probably just want to put... Uh, some, uh, just put the merchants. We'll just put the merchants and the, the, archers will, the archers will kill them. That's the plan. We'll shoot them with the archers from over here. Okay. So that's all the merchants up on the walls. Okay. So then we have the pikes. One, two, and three. And that doesn't leave a whole lot. Now remember our archers are on this side, so we should have a better... If anything, I want to maybe have another spare unit over here. Um, so just put him here. And we'll hold the um, lads in reserve. Always nice to have a unit in reserve uh, back towards the, the capture point, just in case some unit sneaks through. You have something nearby. So that's good. Righto. This is about as good as it's going to get. Okay. Can you set up like this? We are called to war. That. So you can actually help them out. Have your pikes here. 
Go like that. Okay. Now, they're only getting Myron infantry, so that's okay. We just sneak over a touch. Sneak over a touch. Okay, we have no archers on this side. In fact, hopefully that tower is activated. Now, this this army won't start moving until the gate goes down, probably. So that's okay. We have the cav here activating the towers, ready to get some free kills as they come around. And these ones will be activated, so we just got to scoot to get these. That'll be the main thing. Hey, lads. Men of Bree. Dwarves as well. Today you must fight. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. Yep. Curses! Of them. The enemy are battering down our gates. Okay, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Yeah, towers didn't spontaneously combust in the in the rain, so you know that's that's a little bit sad. Could have been a what the heck. Are you getting shot? That should that that'll change in a second. All right, so once again, this dwarven traveler unit, you need to shoot this guy. That is, oh, is that is that windmill in the way? It is. That windmill is actually in the way. Can you shoot that instead. All right, let's go. Let him have it. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. <laughs> They're coming in. Sit myself up here. I protect this little spot there. Now, could you hold fire? Hold fire. These Angmaran infantry going down, that's fine. In fact, our merchants probably outclass them. Just have a look, quick look. 617. 713. Yeah, pretty little, slightly low attack, but yeah, we. Just high armor stats. Okay, just wait for them to come in. Now, this is probably the, the issue side. This uh, Iron Crown Warriors. We just got the towers do the work here. Same here. Through our Huskars, towers are just going to have to do the work. Okay, Pike's down. Now that secondary army is moving. So they have to move the cab around soon. Okay, you two. You're, you have an important job to fire into this. Fire right into the middle there. Okay. How are you guys going firing into those? You got a pretty good, good line of sight there, I think. That windmill is a real pain. Yeah, that's perfect. That's firing right into these Iron Crown Halberdiers. That's good. Need some extra assistance on that. Okay, reform. Yeah, do whatever you need to do. Sort yourselves out. Pikes are offering an additional line here. That's good. Okay, can we fire at those halberdiers? Um, and also you. Yeah, you should have a pretty good line of sight here as well. Fire in at uh, these halberdiers. Fire the thralls, actually. Okay, lads. Got a hold. Okay. Cav over here. Where we got? Yeah, you're activating your towers. Good. Good, good. Okay, we'll have to start shimmying them around. Just any any kills we can get from these towers is good. Okay. Pick up your bows, men. There's a lot of dudes in here. Shoot those Iron Crown Halberdiers. Oh, fight them. What are you doing? Fight them. Fight them. Don't, don't do the shimmy shake. Kill them. Kill them. Okay. The swords are ready and waiting here. Just let them kill. See how slowly they're fighting because the wall... It's only like too wide. So they only kill two men at a time, right? Which means the towers get time to do the work. That's what we really need. You're still firing into this. Yeah, because this is the issue right here. These Halberdiers. That's why we need to get some extra assistance up on the wall for them. Pikes, hold. Uh, Cav, need to move them around. Yeah, okay, so this one. 
you come up into here. That should be activated. Yeah, so then just, just get to here. Get that going. And on the other side, time to run you around. Get up to the gate. Run you to here. Get those towers going. Okay, how are we going? Farmhand pikes. Uh, kind of looks like it's gonna be down to you here. This is not looking good. They have very good units. Fire into here. Fire into there. Get the kills. As long as the front line holds here. Kind of like around the back of us here, that's not good. So like the dwarves are gonna have to get involved. I mean, there's a secondary army coming as well. This is, I said, this is gonna be scary. I don't know if we can do it. Okay, keep those towers firing. Get to here. Run. You get to here. Keep firing in. Go keep getting those kills. One, two, three. Yeah, fire into this. This is good. This is good. Fire into this blob here. Okay, the front line is holding. We still have our secondary line of, of pikes on this side. But this side is, is looking bad. It's looking very bad. Okay, dwarves that are done with your ammunition. Yeah, you guys need to get down here. Get the hell down there. Go, go, go. You guys just gotta... You have to go fight. Go fight, go fight, go fight. Firing in there. Hey, right. Halberdiers just haven't died here at all. But they're fighting very slowly, which means the towers are getting a chance. How are we going over here? We just we just have to win on the walls with the towers. Very slow fights. They're shaking, that's good. How are we going? 23% to 38. Okay, so we are ahead. However, remember we have used most of our ammunition, which is significant. You guys getting down? What's going on? Down here. Stop them from getting up to the archers. Okay, uh, ammunition. Just, just, just hold. Hold. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hello. We just need to hold fire. We need to let a blob form again. Can you push up a touch? Push up touch. Now you lads are getting shot at, so can you turn your shields? Alright, they're shaking. Could route them potentially, but kind of not, not sure about that course of action. I'll leave them fresh. I don't need to contribute to the walls. The walls are fine. The walls will hold. Middle will hold, hopefully. Pikes are doing a good job. Yeah. You guys here. Get down here and help out these damn... Help them out. Let's go. Get off the wall and get down there. Okay, has there been another blob form yet? Yeah, there's more coming in. Okay, good. Get ready to fire again. Yeah, probably when these guys come in, these are uh, pikes. We'll fire at them when they're in. Okay, yeah. Yeah, start firing those root up pikes then. You guys formed up. Get the hell down here. What is going on? Something changes in the course of battle. What are the you doing? Get down here. Form the line. Form the line. Okay, so there they've won up on the wall. That's good. I'm thinking. Oh, they're really committing up on the wall here, aren't they? That's okay, they can commit on the wall. Let them commit. They can't. Get up there. Help them out. Archers, keep firing in. Into here. Fire at this archer unit here. Um, you are you losing units? They're steady. Exhausted, shaken. Okay, you guys done? Get around here and buff their morale. 
Okay, we... You're done. You need to get over to this side of the battle. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Okay, keep going. Hold them around the towers. As long as the towers are firing, we're fine. Where the hell is my unit? What? 106 routing? Oh my goodness, I lost that whole unit? Oh, that's that's very bad. Get down off the wall. I kid you not, these guys here are gonna are gonna be the death of me. Okay, you're done. Okay, so you gotta get down as well. Get down. Don't you dare break on me, you damn militia. Going on here. Don't let, them, don't let them flank our pikes. I. How many times have I got to tell you guys? Go. I know you're stuck in amongst there, but okay, you're good. Get out. You done as well. Let's go. Fight. You come this way. I'm down here. All right. Here we go. Okay, you lads are going to hold on the walls. Because I think these merchant militia might might go soon. And we've got to have a unit ready to ready to help out. Okay. They're kind of routing almost. Okay, with the general over here, they, they got a lot more... But happy to keep fighting. The middle is holding for now. Just, but we've just pulled our middle away. Gay Imperator, welcome in. Just pulled our middle away. This isn't good. Okay, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Okay, we got Cav. Maybe do something with that. Get out, out and around. Those travelers down. Fight these guys here. Fight them here, fight them here. Come on. Everyone's, everyone's gonna have to fight here. Keep the towers firing. That's all we have to do. Okay, how are we going up here? Almost broken them. It's more coming up though. Just keep fighting. Keep holding. We've got to keep these towers firing. Everything here needs to fire. Okay, come around. How are we going? 48%, 56. They're pulling it back. It was just slow fights. That's why the pike. Oh, they're winning. They're winning. They're winning. They're winning. Get over here. Get over here. Uh, unless we can get around behind them, maybe. Maybe that's the better call. How are these guys not broken? We've got them surrounded. Come on. Kill them. Need something back in the middle. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Okay, Cav. Get around the back, get around the back. We routed this side. Okay, we've routed this side. That flank is done. Good, good, good. Okay, so they're still holding. So now we need to push up. Oh no, they're still fighting. Get rid of Huskulls. Kill them. 27 on the left. They're still... Pikes are still holding even though they're hitting the rear. These guys are almost done. Um, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. You lads need to get up here and just and just slow them down. Just slow them down. Okay, can we now like hit them in the rear or something? Do something there. They're, cross, they're longbowmen, so just get in there and fight them. We just need numbers. Just get in there and fight them. Keep fighting, merchants. Don't you dare route. Don't you dare route on me. Okay. Okay, you guys done? Get down. Okay, we gotta push this flank now. To here. Push up with the general as well, just to offer morale. 
He's, he needs to stay alive. Okay, what do we got? Halbert is longbowman. Can we can just break these longbowmen in the middle? We can get around behind them. Damn it, fight. And where are their captains at? They kill their captains and their generals. I don't know if we've killed the captain yet. Okay. Get in here, go. Alright, you stand quite close in here. Hold ground. Blow the horn. Blow the horn. Okay. How the cav going? Pretty good. As long as you're just fighting longbowmen, that's fine. You can stand there and fight. Just, just, just fight. Just kill him. Go. Thinking we push with the pikes. A little bit. Push with the pikes. Ah, uh, sorry, Imperator 17V. I, uh, I don't understand. I'm gonna say Russian. I think. My apologies. I am but a pleb Australian who speaks one language. Yeah, we're holding these swordsmen in reserve. At the moment we're just holding the line here. Push forward, push forward, push forward. Yeah, are the pikes going as well? Where are the pikes at? Yeah, pikes are going forward. Good. Okay, let me get on the back. Of We've got to get rid of these archers in the middle here. we just got to get rid of them. They're almost... Almost broken. Okay, how, how are we going on this side? Marine infantry are almost done. Merchant militia, don't you dare break. Don't you dare break. You're just fighting Hillman. You can do it. You can do it. Just fight. Fight. Okay, you done? No, kill him. Go on this side. Got him backed against the... Got him backed against the wall. Got to try and break this slot. Oh, they're coming back. Pull across, pull across. Got to, we got to charge these Rudar Huskals. They, 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 bloody, they came back. Okay, let's see if we can charge them. They are shaken. Hit them. Hit these Huskals. Break them, break them, break them. Pull out, that was a terrible, that was a, that was a piss weak charge. Get out, go again. Where's that man at? Come on. Front line's almost gone. We get something around to help them. These halberdiers are just fighting to the last. They are really, really causing problems. Okay, so there, can I just send one? Just send one of you just to deal with him so make sure he doesn't come back. The other one, get back on these damn archers. Try and get a charge. Hey, we got the merchants up on the wall here fine, but they've got the general on this side, so that they're holding their their morale. Everyone just needs to fight. Okay, we're almost done here. one of you out. We need to... Oh, this Spearman unit's almost dead. It's like being almost cleaned up by one unit. Okay, fight. Keep them, keep them engaged. Yeah, they should be done. Yeah, they're done. Get back over here. Help out, help out. Just anything. Anything will do. Yeah, they're coming around. Can we quickly clear that? Hey, are we, oh, we killed him. We eventually killed him. Okay. We are losing here. Kind of think I need to throw him in. A stretch right now. I'll, I'll stretch back my... Stretch back my elbows. I got nothing else left. Nothing else left. No, no, go here, go here, go here, go here. At these guys. Yeah, I got one swordsman unit here I'm holding in reserve. No, who's that routing? No! No, 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 no! Don't route! 
damn you. Oh, you're just going to run through all their troops. Rally. Oh, no. That's so many troops wasted. General might just have to die here. He's going to have to be thrown in, I think. Oh, the Witch Knights are still here. They're untouched. Oh, that's bad news. The Witch Knights are untouched. Okay, come on. Got to break through these guys. Break through, break through. What about on this side? Engage, engage. Albadiers, they're an issue. I don't think I don't think we can break them. We're, we're running out of units. Um, can you get down potentially? We need to get back to the the center. Hey, okay. get in there! It's time to throw the general in. Keep fighting up on the wall. Come on, Merchant Cab, you can do it. I believe. I believe in you. You've got to get through the back. If you can get through the back and get some surroundings. Okay. You lads, you lads broke. Useless. Can you get around? Get around, get around. we got to get around here. Hey, push through, push through, push through, push through. We gotta get through here. We can surround this little unit here, maybe we can cut it off. They still have a general alive, that's the problem. Fight. Keep the towers firing. Look at that stretch for your Tetra. Oh. That's, so we just gotta keep them here, right? Because the towers are firing. They have lost half their men. Get through, get through, get through. Oh my goodness, they're, they're charging with the Witch Knights. That's not good. Come on, Cav, you got to get through. Man, we're still holding up on the wall over here. We're holding up a good chunk of them. I think maybe this unit needs to come around here. Needs something here. Maybe charge again. I just know the charges aren't very good against this wall here. Okay. So we cleared that up. We'll run back, run back, run back, run back, run back. How are we going in the middle here? Not good. It cleared this up here. Hey, okay, we gotta kill this. Let's go. Charge him, charge him, charge him. Okay, um, that is not what I said to do, but anyway. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, they're routing. I know you're exhausted, but my goodness, you gotta, you gotta do something here. You gotta help me, Cav. Oh no, you went up on the damn wall, you're gonna rout! No, down here! We route this up on the wall here? Let's try again. Every unit that's gone up on this wall has routed. Maybe you guys are, are better. Are you fighting? Good. Kill them, kill them. If we can clear that side, maybe we've got a chance. Okay, pull out again. Let's go. Let's give him another charge. Oh, we've cleared this side, have we? Get down here. Go. Go, 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 go. Get in here. Make sure they don't come back. Get down here, merchants. Get down here. The general's just in. He's, he's in. He's in there somewhere. 
Get down, get down, get down. Come on, get onto them, get onto them. That was a terrible charge. Don't worry about them. Come on, go. Set up, set up, set up. I need you guys set up and get a good charge. That's one fleeing the field. Hey, this is one army fleeing. You lads just need to hold here, eh? Just hold the damn line. Don't fight the witch knights if possible. Longbowmen. Okay, hit him. Can we clear these longbowmen out? Get over here. This is still the issue over here. Oh, there's witch knights up here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, can we... Are we breaking this? No, apparently not. Okay, everything here. Get onto these guys. Take them out. We need, we need to get this cab through. We need to get this damn cab through. We need to clear this gate. We need to clear the gate. This towers are still firing in. That's good. Keep firing those witch knights. That's probably the only way we're going to kill them. If they could just... If we just route a unit over here. They're holding. As long as they keep fighting... I told you to go down here. If he dies, that's so bad. Please tell me they're routing. They're not routing. Goodness. Okay. Which knights have busted through, as expected. We don't really have a lot left to fight. That's really just the general's bodyguard with the effect against armor. Maybe we can charge him with the cav. The rest of them are coming through. Okay. We just gotta hope that up on the wall we win. And we have to somehow deal with this general's bodyguard. Pull back over here. Pull back, pull back. Let them, ha let them have the center if they want it. Let them have the center. Don't fight them for it. Are they coming back up? They come up to the wall. That's good. Let them fight around the towers. This is what we want. So, what do we got here? Get to here. Pray something changes in the course okay. of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Just tower firing? I don't think so. Okay, get over here. Get up here. Our enemy has command of the city. What they got there? Blackman? Hit him. No! He was up on the wall! The enemy is no longer in command of the city! They've routed. Keep these towers firing, keep the towers firing. And we still have the general's bodyguard unit. Get those. Come on. It's two guys. Kill them. Just stab them. Our men have fought uh, no, they're routing as well. Just don't die too many on the way. They're routing too. And we've got to fight them here next to the towers. That's the only chance we have. Man, the general dying was just... I think we could have done it. I can finish this off. Go. Finish him. Pray something changes in the course of battle. For defeat seems almost certain. Swung. 
Uh, these guys are caught. Oh, dang it. Okay, so maybe we can do something here. So if we have the infantry here, cav on either side. Maybe we can do something. Should we go that side? Okay, towers have stopped firing. I mean, the time has almost run out. Stand here. Run back, run back. Back of the line, back of the line. Go give the cab something to charge at here. Face the right way. Why are you in loose formation? What's going on? Uh, we might win on time. They're not advancing. Maybe? Maybe we win on time? We get lost that general, but my goodness. We just had one unit up on the wall here, getting these towers firing. I don't I don't want to risk it now. Yeah, I kinda do. Um can I just move you around here? It's those witch knights, man. The witch knights was the difference. One's fire as well. No, don't route. Oh, you useless idiots. Is the tower's firing still? No, no, I, I had my chance and I blew it. Pull this side, pull to this side. Oh, run, run, run. No, run. Don't go through them. Oh, they must have caused like fear or something. Oh, that's it. Something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. You know, I could have just waited out the time, but I, uh, I, I wanted to try and get some more kills, and maybe they would have came anyway. Who knows? There's the time right there. So can we, can we run away? Make it. No. Ah. Uh, if we just kept one cab unit alive, we would have won because it takes forever to cap the middle. We could have actually done that really easily if I had my brain thinking it all. <sighs> clear. I was going to say, I thought I said close to clear defeat. I had a comment on YouTube on, on the last video saying, uh, now that now you're at the snowball stage, you know, and I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think you're at the snowball stage yet. This is what I mean. Angmar has better units than me. They have better units than me. And I'm trying to fight with units that aren't as good. And we even had the tower advantage then. We still couldn't do it. I got no money. How would we accept anyway? No, oh, it's falling apart. It's falling apart. We didn't kill their general. It'd be nice to kill their general. Okay. See, this is why I've said we can't push into Angmar. Because we can't even defend against them. In a walled settlement. That's a first.
It's not the best force here either, honestly. Just looking at things. Right. I do you want to check? I mean, he's, he's max acumen. That was you. I think you're still pretty close to that, but yeah, losing that battle hurts. I mean, this, this is the issue though. The fact that we lose that battle, that shows what we're fighting against, right? Like, we can't, like, we can't even defend in our own city. So, we are not at Snowball. Like, we can't even defend. Let alone, like, attack into this. No friggin' way. No way can we attack into in something like this. Now, that's why I'm trying to just get rid of the, desperately trying to get rid of the goblins. That's the main priority. Get rid of the goblins. And then maybe we can, we can turn our attention. That's, that's the, that's where we're at. Now, you lads are coming over to here. Um, so now Bree is vulnerable again. You go to here. The train. Um, now, Bilbo, let's have a look. 2.2. .2. This guy's useless. Yes, my lord. Now, why the hell would that be? Your orders, my lord. Okay, let's first check retinues. Senile? No. That's minus four command. Agriculturalist. Dunedine troops. Good with infantry. Confident attacker. Minus five percent trade. But, I mean, we've got so many other positives. That shouldn't be doing it. Plus 20%. Like, is that, that just completely governing genius? These are all... Let me pull him out. He's not making any difference at all, so it's not him. He's not doing anything. Even if I clean up the goblins quickly, I, I don't I don't think we're there. Yes, my lord. Two, three, four, three. Your orders, my lord. Oh! It's the devastation number is changing. Some, for some reason, devastation is going down 638 when I move Bilbo out of Bree. Why the hell? Because it's 2000. Why? Yes, my lord. Because he's making more money. Okay, I got it. I got it. It's because devastation is percentage based, right? Pretty sure. And because when Bilbo is in Bree, he is making so much damn money that the percentage based amount goes up higher. Something like that. It's because he's making too much money. So devastation is increasing like 1.8k when Bilbo is actually governing because he's making more money. So there's more money to lose. Yeah, so it's just the devastation number. Um, because he is probably like the best governor it could ever be. That's funny. Uh, so I'll, I might have to move him out just while the devastation goes down then. It would appear though that we need some more troops. So we are 
Trying to get a full stack. I think we've got a full stack. I would like to go back and capture this immediately before they get more troops back because there's a small army there right now. So uh, let's see what we can get together. Orders. Your will, my lord. Elven warriors. My lord. Your will, my lord. My lord. Your will, my lord. Your will, my lord. Okay, send the cav. My lord. Order. Yes. Joining forces, my lord. Your will, my lord. Order. Merging armies, my lord. Anything over him? Oh yeah. My lord. Got him. My lord. Okay, so let's go and try and take this back. We have marched our limit. I say I might even just grab those couple lord, of bandits. My lord. Orders. Yes, my lord. So while that devastation's going yes. down, just go hang out in the fort then, I guess. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I can, that's all I can recommend. And these troops, yeah, stay there this turn, we'll march them next turn. <laughs> Still sieging Barketta. Be gone. Climb you bastards. Ah, noble death, it was a noble death. He did die nobly. Bunch of roads everywhere though, that should increase income. Seduli. So I mean, they seem to have um, given us a rest down here, so that's good. Inns are, inns are much better now. They go straight two tiers and 120 base income straight off the bat. Mythlond. Yeah, just, just grab that. It's fine. We may even recruit an army over here and uh, and send it around via boats, although that's a little bit risky considering we don't have uh, good boats. We have mercenaries. We can't, even, we can't even build boats. Can't even build boats. Yeah. Can't even get any boats ourselves. I'm making 20 or not quite 20 next turn. Okay, any other troops here that we can grab? I mean, I don't like Journeyman, but we're kind of under threat again. Just grab him. He's on the front. So it's better than nothing. Okay, grab those. Now that means we're getting... They pull back their units at least. We can see a little further. My Lord. And here. Approaching What's going on down here? I so that means we can to pull more out to center the goblin front. A spy here. My Lord. I can't. Uh, Gandalf, you're blocking the road. Oh my goodness. Just, just come around then. Tomorrow's Gandalf. Gandalf's blocking the road, man. They blocked the road for me. Uh, so we want to send. Cav, leave the Tharbad Rural Guard. Probably leave the Dunedain units because they can be replenished here, right? Yeah, they can be replenished here. They'll leave them around. We'll pull out more just the Bree units and the merchants. So send that, and we're getting units in a few turns time. We can panic recruit a militia if need be. They are they are at least two turns march away, and the Dunedain are hanging around here helping out, so that's fine. We'll send them as well. Argond, are you finished recruiting? Yep. So you three can go. 
As you wish. Everyone just to everyone needs to march to the front. Later. Troops anyway. Mitchell Delving's got a bunch. They need to be retrained. Oh, okay. I'll hold them here. They're about to get the the armor. So we'll retrain them all here. Don't bother doing that. Okay, so we'll retrain them all there. Everyone here. Are you all they're all happy? So we get Orders. Hit that next turn. Raise our banners. My lord. Take that back. That lost that general. That ah, sucks. I hate losing generals, man. Anything here? No. We're working on it. Okay. Austin Athiel, we have to siege. Now, I'm confident that we can take this army with a full stack, which is what we've lord, got here. My lord. Um, I think we've got enough. A lot of archers. Um, in fact, I might even just. My lord. Yes, my lord. I just trade out some of these archers. Your will, my lord. I do want a little more infantry in here. My lord. Your will, my lord. My lord. Cav is very good as well. So let's trade out. Your will, my lord. Order. Okay, so just trade those over. Just to make this army the strongest we can get. And then they might come and try and break the siege. That's fine if they do because we're probably not going in here. Um, if they do break the siege, we want them to come in from behind us. With honor, we shall engage. Your will, and just stand this guy... Yes. Yep. Okay. So that's eight turns. Yeah, well, I'm just recapturing land right now. No fool. Send your emissary to Two me. Two turns. Two turns. That's good. We can better defenses there. Lord. And over here, we're still like generalless, so we can't get mercenaries, and we are at the mercy of the goblins, really. Can't can't really do much there. Like we are. I'm just. My lord. Wish I could do more to push. We're, we're jamming out troops. The down here. Where's my spy gone? My lord. Approaching. Let's get some more intel on what's happening. Maybe Rohans or Aetherwaith are doing something. I think they're fighting Aetherwaith. Maybe we could yoink a settlement. We had enough to back up our troops. Yeah, okay. Because they've stopped attacking us here. So let's think about this. So let's get some units in reserve. Let's get everything we can get here. We'll recruit all those. And then that way we might be able to... Might be able to push out here. Take a settlement. If we get one settlement here, that'd make a big difference. Hey, it's something. Angmar is is going to be our Everest. That's that's the conclusion I'm coming to here. Angmar is going to be our Everest. If we can somehow get rid of these goblins and clean up Dunland at the same time. Dunland are pretty good units as well, but not as good as Angmar. You saw those those Halberdier units. Like, we were trying to kill them. Like, there was that one Halberdier unit that had, like, five or six dudes left in it. And I had a full surround on them, and they just would not rout. That's, that's what we're dealing with. They have good units. Please, dwarves. Are they, are they just going to siege us out here? Come and get me. I get the feeling they're just going to siege us out. Maybe this army needs to come up to relieve. Seven turns. We could pull some from here. Let's get some more units going. Retrain them. There's no reason why they shouldn't attack. They have they have siege equipment. They have. Decent army. They haven't added to their siege equipment though, which is a little bit sus. 
Still is ceased between Harad and Gondor. Yeah, because Harad's almost dead. Actually, I don't retrain you. That's just for experience. That's fine. You have your weapons. Um, yeah. Just gotta calm this, calm this devastation down. Then we'll chuck Bilbo back in. But you do need a weapon. You're fine. Okay. Mitchell Delving, you can make some more money, I think. Some more farms. Nothing else here good to recruit right now. Oh, I didn't think about grabbing those farm and pikes, but I think we're okay. We should take this back. We have some troops around. Tharbad. Yeah, make more money. Ah, oh, Gandalf moved. Here we go. Uh, just as I hatched the plan to attack, look at them. It's like they heard me. They heard me talking. They're like, oh, they're coming for us. Let's let's go back. <laughs> they heard me coming. Full on. Oh, yeah, just... Farms. So what we need to do here, though, is, is to break this. Can you get some units out so that we have space for them the next turn? Like we can, we can break that. That's fine. So we'll do a couple of little little battles here. Approaching quietly. You just see what's going on here. Tomorrow's journey planned out. We could take this one. It's only three units in there. <sighs> Tempted just to just to go. You know, just boom, boom, and go. My lord. Could do it. Tomorrow's journey planned out. My lord. By your command. Your will, my lord. My lord. Do I trust Gandalf? No, I don't trust Gandalf. Rush around. Quietly. Send you through. My and you can go through. Oh yeah, you go there, you go there. You and you stay you stay here. Alright, so send you through, get vision over here. Approaching. Almost gonna have the military garrison up. Okay, so we're, we're looking better. We're looking better across the board. Sort of. Now, do we get a little opportunity here? As you wish. Yes. Now they've consolidated. My lord. <sighs> Mercenaries are here. To battle, lads. Prepare to assault the walls. Now, as I said, I don't think we're going in here either. Siege force reporting, my lord. They're probably sending troops down. I, I, can we go in? No, I don't think we can. Like, even with the towers, we can take them here. I think we got to use the cab on the open field. I think that's our only, our only hope. Okay. Right. So to the south, let's attack these two. Your orders, my lord. We do have another An glorious victory. As you command. Let's take this guy out. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. Could take both these armies now. And then see if there's any more comes next turn. For and the then we could go the because then those new units way. will be coming into the Let's city. Pray it remains as such. So I definitely don't want to lose Londaire. Like that's it's been a very that's a ballista ballista tower city. It's very defendable. Um, But if Dunland are fighting Inithwaith, then I sense I sense blood in the water. Sense a chance. A chance to go in.
What do we got? Orc. We got uh, clan hunters. Warband host. Okay. We kill the general, please. Eviscerated. Fire this, fire this. Force remains. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yep, keep coming for the cavalry. You know you want it. You know you want it. Come here, good doggy. Come here, good doggy. The enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yeah, we'll shoot you. We don't need to take casualties. You think you guys would leave now, wouldn't you? You can see the writing on the wall. I mean, behold okay. how our cowardly foe ran. This is a clear victory. Okay. Yeah, Devastation is definitely percentage based, just thinking about that more because or it's or it's based off of your your region wealth in some way. So because if you've got a region that's making 500 gold, then Devastation there will be like 150, 200, 300 or something. You got a region that's making 5,000, Devastation will be, you know, a couple of thousand. So if you make more, Devastation impacts more. So yeah, just thinking. Yes. I'm just still thinking about the Bilbo the Bilbo thing. Okay, now what I want to do is just Order. chuck you into here. Yes. Just so we have a unit in there, so it doesn't just get taken. Orders, my lord. Um, and then I'd like to... Did we start... Did we retrain this guy? That's good. I was hoping we'd get enough to retrain him. Yes, my lord. We shall engage. We have it's pushing time. us out of position with some cell swords and bandits here. As you come Be enough on. to push on. Okay, so some heralds of the twofold king are very, very good. Uh, we're going to lose some units here, but that's okay. Take out some of their best elites, their, their uber elites. We attack. I think they'll come at us because they have skirmishing cav. So let's find ourselves a nice position, probably in this open field. I mean, it's not too bad. It's a bit of a bit of a hill. There's a little bit of a few trees, but it's not too bad. Well, woodland hunters, they should be better in the trees, shouldn't they? Okay. You know the issue was I didn't have enough. Actually, no, I did have I did have three uh, pikemen in that defense, didn't I? They just couldn't do enough. I didn't have them triple layered. That was the issue. Didn't have them triple layer piked. That's when they. That's when you unlock the true potential of the the farmhand pike when you have more of them. <laughs> just have enough, you know. Just have more farmhand pike. That's when they. That's when they really come online. I have more units here? What's going on? It's the two cav. You boys coming in? 
Boys are not coming in. The crossbows in the front though? Okay, I'm gonna go for a little charge. Are they a skirmishing cab? Get out. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Get out. Oh yeah, those are coming. Those are coming. That that got their attention. Perils of the Twofold King will be very hard to bring down with Archer Fire. Instead, focus on these Warband Blades, maybe. Some raiders. Shoot this cab over here. Infantry! Infantry. These Frecklinger stalwarts. Hit him. Farmhand Pikes will hold the line. But we use our archer. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, they're just standing there, you know. Just shoot them. They're just standing there. Come on. They will die. They're not they're not invincible. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. These damn guys. Oh my goodness, they are really tanky, aren't they? They are really tanky. The enemy general abandons his Now we have bonus against horses, right? Bonus against horses. Do they have bonus against horses? They have bonus against horses as well. Um, so they should murder me. How are we going on the percentage? 85? Okay, we're fine. Around it. We have bonus against horses, so that means we are actually hitting reasonably well. Okay, kill them. The nice. enemy's general. That'll teach their coward. The enemy general. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Chase them down. No, 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 no. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Good. Good. Now we could just supplement this army with some mercenaries. And I'm getting I'm getting good feelings about this. It's a small force in the in in the city. Ah! Now of course I'm utterly terrified of what troops are in these cities. Your orders, my um, <clears throat> so if we merged, yes, my lord. No, we don't get any Your space. So we got three, you. three slots here. One, two, three. We got three potentially. Um, let's just grab Your those orders, corsairs. This turn. This is a little bit yolo, but yes, making camp here. Let us settle matters. On faction leader, King Solus. Does look like he looks like a warrior king. This guy, um, take him out. My lord, see what's going on here. Um, so could we also then get if we're we're pushing down here, we also get some more units. 
please and thank you these ones them first and then go back for the merchants excuse me okay So we're sieging on two fronts. Uh, we could just kill these two. I'm gonna stick you. And let them build up. I'm gonna two stick turns. You. Man, I want a, a man of the hour over here. Desperately, desperately want a man of the hour. Because look at that. Look how many troops they're building up. Marching to war. We're gonna kill kill off. Yeah, look, get rid of these flame wranglers. Yeah, this is a good little good little attack here. So archers in the first army, and yeah, we just run them over. And then second army, we got one halberd. Yeah, so we'll just we'll just run these over with the cav. Keep utilizing the cav in these battles. In this army, we got to preserve the infantry. Two arms, men. Form up lines and prepare for battle. There we go. Men, Looking for. Yeah, so infantry just pull back. Infantry and archers, you'd have no part in this battle, really. Yeah, pull pull right back up over here. Give the cab as much time as possible to win the day. And then you guys can come in and finish the job with some arch fire, probably if necessary. In fact, probably just put the archers at the front. not good. Okay, like, yeah. It's terrible. Go like that, and then everyone else back here. Okay, right. Let's run them over. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Okay. Build them first. is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. The enemy are badly... The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Behold how our coward okay. foe runs. First time he's gone. Our men have captured the enemy general. Clean that up. Guard him well and make it so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. No, no, no. None of you escape. Keep going. Right, now we got to go deal with this other army. Let's one out. And down here. So we want to preserve our infantry. Don't want to lose any of them. Keep using this cab. And I said a man of the hour would be just fantastic. So we really want to try and go for a heroic victory here. Like barely take any, or at least a clear victory. Just barely take any casualties. So remember the black pit halberds are the only issues. They're in the front. There, shine themselves the door. Couple and bend. Finish them off. 
Out. Don't. Don't. Don't fight those halberds. Like don't fight those halberds. Around the back. Sneaky charge onto them. Clear them out. And we just want to draw the halberds towards our archers once we've taken out everything else. We'll bring the archers to them, honestly. Run back, run back, run back. Don't go near the halberds. Don't go near the halberds. What what I say? Don't go near the halberds. You just run straight on into them. Good job. Well done. Congratulations. Real, real smart work. That's okay. fighting. I'll black the infantry. Pull back. Oh. Don't hit him. Don't let him fire. If we continue like this, they did we fire. Smash the enemy. The side. Yeah, that should have done it. Nice. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. There should be nothing else left. Okay, so now we pull back to the archers. And we let the... Let them do the rest. Oh, that's the black help. Okay. Okay. That's not the right angle, is it? The enemy army nice. flees the field. Pursue and run them down. I get as much experience here as possible, trying to get a man of the hour, so we'll just keep shooting. Probably just meant to have experience on the cell swords. Oh well. Let me get out of range. Just, just stop, stop firing. Okay. Chase him down. Right. So what we lose? Six percent. Hopefully we heal a little. Five percent. I'm on man of the hour. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's a clear victory. I need a man of the hour just to get some mercenaries over here. If, if, if even there are mercenaries. And another unit, frankly. <laughs> like, anything's good. Victory in your name, my lord. Trade increase? Oh, Harry the Defender. Okay. My lord. Nope. <sighs> Nothing. Come back command. in. Can't. Two turns on a military garrison. Okay, so we're losing our calves slowly, shortly, slowly, but surely. Um, I think that's going to be the turn then. I think we've pretty much done everything we'll we can. Don't know where you're we'll going next turn, but just in case I forget about you, go there. You can keep pushing. Yes. We can go no further today. And we'll definitely hire some mercenaries down the south. Uh, you lads are training, and we're getting more here. In case we need to break the siege, because they don't appear to be doing anything. What do we got in here? Decent units. Do we have the garrison? Oh, oh, we have one. We have one garrison. Okay. Something then. Um. Did I merge anything to get that garrison together? Yeah, just, just go to there. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. Okay. 
Let's see what happens. This is, this is kind of broken down. This is not how I like to play Total War. We've got settlements isolated. We've got armies in a in our territory it's not it's not how i it's not how i roll i did say that going yolo for khazad doom was was the play i think it still was i think it still was um and it's surely going to be helping lothlorien as well um because they look like they were maybe going to get taken like they were lothlorien was being sieged a few times a few turns make a stand we are besieged So we've helped them out, but we've probably hindered ourselves. I don't think that army's moving from Kemeth Bryn because they're with Angmar, the goblins, and they're bordering Angmar there, so they're holding on for dear, dear life in the north. Oh! Oh! Gondorian Splendor. A message I don't think I've seen in forever. Probably since I played Gondor. Since the line of kings ended, the stewards took reign of Gondor's leadership and this once glorious nation began to decline, losing territories and citadels to the enemy. However, the power of Numenor has shone through the men of Gondor as they reclaim that which was lost and expand their borders farther than they have been since the... <coughs> Excuse me. Since the days of Steward Kyrian. The land of stone shakes... As its vast armies march to and fro, protecting Gondor's people and reclaim and claiming more land, the kingdom rejoices as the Gondorian heartland of old is reunited under the banner of the stewards. Perhaps this is the herald of a new Gondorian golden age. Ah, oh, Gondor! Look at this. Look at this little settlement. Just attack it. Attack it, Rohan. Ah. Oh. It will be an honor defeating you. Oh my goodness. My lord, approaching. Yes, my lord. Okay. By your command. Abort mission. Uh, we're getting most of these in this turn. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. Your orders, my lord. <laughs> A little more strength. Will be an honor this this you. is a this is a strong army no cav though no cav now we yes, have very limited cav ourselves basically one unit left um it's a big prize Are Inithways still at war with Dunland? No, they're not. Uh, so that's why they pulled their armies back. Gondor, help me! Help me! Your orders, my lord. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. This is concerning. We can defend here. We have troops coming. What's in here? Yes, my lord. To battle. We shall prevail. <sighs> Once you go YOLO, you never go back. Yes. If for some reason this doesn't attack us, we could get in, hopefully. You're all right, oh, we'll get, we'll get the siege equipment up. As you command. I think they're going to attack us and we either win or lose on it, on the, on the, on the spot. Um, it's going to be a tight battle. I mean, I've filled up my numbers with mercenaries. Cell swords are good, but the other two not so much. Okay, so they'll have 
troops here, that's fine. I mean, if this all fails, we, we can fall back um, to here. That's why we want to make sure we had some troops available. If it all fails. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of starting to feel like it, everything's going to fail. You know? Things are not going as as intended. Yeah. Is that next turn? It was, wasn't it? Next turn, we'll grab those. Okay, so we're kind of building up a force here. I mean, let the goblins come, that's fine. I don't care about them. Yes. My lord. As you wish. So keep marching to there. By your command, march to exhaustion, continuing later. How's the devastation going? Down to 446. If I chuck Bilbo back in, it'll probably be much higher. Uh, let's test it. We can test. The three. Yes, my lord. Oh, is that actually a positive now? Your orders, my lord. Yeah, it's actually slightly better having him in there. Okay. That's good. We'll chuck him in. Just slightly better having him in. Uh, could we also potentially give those bandits some upgrades? Okay. Oh, plague's gone. Good to see. Armory. They still are not breaking this. They're still not attacking us. I'm kind of getting a little concerned here. I'll get more elves. So I think we will have to go and break that siege. So we'll get an army together. I think at least to send up there. Still got a fair few turns. Still got five, six turns. Dwarves look like they're coming up. Maybe they they might they might lend a hand as well. If the dwarves come over, we'll use them. Okay. Byrig and Tohuen got their garrisons up. That's really important. So, finish Drunen. Yeah, perfect. I think we'll get the Dunedain camp first. That'll give us some more upkeep. The guys are very low armored. Get, get the armory. Under towers. I am training troops here, so let's get the armor done here as well, so don't have to keep ferrying to Bree each time. And then to Hewan. The armorer. Not finished Drun, the other one, Fire. Um, good thing we got that merchant retrained. Then yeah, go the go the armor. Since we've got everything else we really need there. And it's we just need Better troops. Right, I think we possibly take out this again. Like we just can't let them build up here. We got to keep keep poking at them. And also, with the small chance, we might get a I'm gonna stick you. a man of the hour. In fact, if I send a smaller army, what's in here? If I send a smaller army, I'll get a better chance of man of the hour, but look, let's just let's just kill him. Captain Radgash? How many Captain Radgashes have I killed? I feel like that's a common common role that I get. Captain Radgash. We bring the battle to the enemy. I mean these little battles are time consuming, but they're they're important. Particularly when I don't have a force over here. Okay, so once again, we'll try and use the archers as much as possible up on this hill. Ah, actually, I like that. Is that not passable? Something here is not passable. Okay, cav. 
And the one unit I can actually retrain here is the cell swords, ironically enough. So you guys are the ones that need to go in if they need to fight. Because I can retrain I can retrain you. They'll send you in. Okay, I want you to shoot these halberds. They're the issue. Nothing else here is a problem. I don't shoot the Eric Overseers, my goodness. Shoot those halberds. Yeah, you're not firing yet. You're not actually in range. I didn't think you were. I suspected that. Yeah, okay, can we come around here and hit the... Can you not charge headfirst into the uh, in the waiting arms of of the halberds? Pretty sure I yoinked the uh, captain there, but he didn't die. I thought I tossed him. Keep shooting him. Get in there. Pretty sure that's the captain there. Take him out should be a lot easier. Yeah, nice. The enemy general lies dead. But keep shooting him. Enemy are badly bloodied. Should be they fine. Lost half their men. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Chase them down. Okay. Righto. Another little force taking out. G'day, Volska. Good morning. Good morning. This is a clear victory. Come on. Man of the hour. Give it to me. Give it to me. I need it. How's life? Have you gotten sleep? I, I we're taking we're taking shifts basically, so we try and get the, the newborn down, but if, if she doesn't go down then um I kind of just sit up with her um, and uh, while Mrs. EPM gets some sleep. So I've, I've kind of been up till like four or five in the morning and then I kind of go to bed after that. Um, so yeah, kind of kind of shifts. I'm getting sleep. Like I slept from five till 11.30 today or something. So I got like six, six and a half hours sleep. But yeah, it's just, I saw I'm taking the, I'm taking the grave night shift, you know. Get back in here. No, no man of the hour. However, one turn away from military garrison. Just sorely needed looking at what we have here. We need those lads up and running pronto. Um, is there anything coming down? I get the feeling there is, isn't there? Yeah, bloody hell. I will only address you in battle. So basically a full stack, maybe a touch more. Now these guys are pretty heavily injured, we know that. Um, we've got a fresh stack, pretty much all armoured, all ready to go. There are elves in here as well, so I feel confident. We have plenty of cav. I feel confident if they attack me with that, we're fine. So I'm going to keep the siege. I think we can take that battle, particularly they're coming in two parts as well. It does make it a little bit easier to manage. So we'll keep the siege going there. And we're looking to try and relieve the siege up here with some troops. Numenas is just really rich. 6.3. I mean, this guy is doing a good job as well. This man could turn the pits of Angband into the halls of Tyrion inside of a week. He's one of the finest bureaucrats in Middle Earth. I have lots of lots of those. So's, so's Bilbo. Probably so's uh, Councilman Andy. Yep. And all my all my lads are, are very good, very good at at working the 
Working the tradesman to the bone. Work harder. Get back to work. It's one of my favorite lines. Oh, well, not one of my favorite lines. One of my favorite movies. This is a risk here. This is this is a risky one. Yes, my lord. One of my favorite movies is Cool Runnings. Um, or always has, always will be. And not only do I really enjoy the movie, I think it's just like exceptional, exceptional um, like story. But I know it's it's based on a true story. It's not all what happened, but still. Um, but one of the, the one of the lines of the movie, you know, Sanka. You know, my grandfather said, what? Get back to work. It's a great line. It's a great line. I love that movie. Try to have them attack you at the OP Weathertop Fort. Um, I could, but then they might just not. And I've got the siege running. I want to keep the siege. They're, they're taking attrition. If they don't want to attack me, we can, we can chill there. That's okay. Those two armies are fine. And even if they, like, come and stand next to me, I might even just attack them myself. I'm not concerned. I've got enough cav. On the open field, as long as I have cav, and they don't have, like, a megaton load of wargs, we should be fine. So they didn't attack, but what did they do? So they've come and stand... Now, they've actually isolated themselves here. And because they haven't captured this fort, they won't retreat into it. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn around, kill and kill. It will be an honor. Kill, kill, and then maybe make it back for the siege, maybe not. But I think that's too good an opportunity. So we'll, we'll go turn around there and take them out. Um, because I don't want them to join as well. Okay, so Tharbad, we're getting troops, troops after troops after troops. Keep them coming. Oh, gee, we're out of... Not really. We'll think. I'll see if I've got to spend my money elsewhere. I guess we are retraining a lot of units. Got a lot of work. Okay, the gob the dwarves have not come over. And I'm actually starting to get very concerned about this. We're taking a lot of attrition damage. Uh, we need to kind of go. So, you lads. That's the fastest way there. Ooh, that's not a good path. Just go to here. By your command. And we need to... Will, we got more coming in here. So we got one, two, two at least this turn. My Lord. You jump in. Armies, my Lord. You can't retrain will, here, so you may as well go. By your command. Send the cav. My Lord. Just leave one cav unit behind. Uh, so we're getting one, two more this turn. So one, two, then turn two more. Um, I will only address shit. you in battle. Um, I probably should send some decent units. Your will, my lord. A couple of these. By your command, joining forces, my lord. One, two. They come this. They, they are within range this turn. So we'll um we'll just leave that as is. And we'll send that. Is there any mercenaries? Your orders, my lord. Yes, there is. Let's grab those as well. Orders. Join them in. Yes, my lord. Orders. Okay. No, don't go that way. Go this way. March to We're really taking a lot of attrition damage now. I'm. Um, they've sent more over. I mean, if I'd known that it would just gonna siege me out, I would have attacked. I will only um, but. You. I get the feeling they're kind of bugged in some way because they haven't built any more siege equipment. See this? Normally, if they siege multiple turns, they've got like a whole stack of siege equipment here. And so they haven't done that. So I think they're a little bit bugged out. And I wish I'd noticed that a little bit earlier. Um, so I would have had to get troops up there to help break it. i just wait on that. Uh, just, just do that. Okay. So they're not close enough. Kill those two armies. Still searching for a man of the out. Lothlorien could come and help here. That'd be great. Looks like they are helping a little bit. There's some fighting going on, so that's good. I wonder, can I get Your orders. my yes. war correspondent to see what's going on here? Yeah, As some... you wish. Oh yeah, there's some elves around. There's some elves around. The war correspondent. Okay, so that that's that's sort of 
making them not want to attack me with this army because they're worried about the elves behind. So that's good. At least something. Okay. They didn't attack me. <sighs> Happy about your situation. I'm so dead. Vodka, why are you so dead? What's going on? I'm a little bit concerned here. Right, so we got quite a few little battles to take this turn. This, yeah, lots of little battles to do, I think. I'm going to stick you. Okay. Um, we'll queue up some military. I don't think there's any pressing need for me to build any more troops anywhere. Maybe just Bree. Yeah, we'll just get them. Otherwise, let's, let's queue up some buildings. For Willisha. Yeah, just keep those. Seduli. Kazadun. Oh, actually, Kazadun West. Can we get the Traveler's Rest? 600. We might be able to get some money for that over the turn. Right, first things first. Feels like I'm having a hungover after all the work and partying. Ah, oh, the old... My lord. Okay. Right. First things first. Let's go take out this guy. This will give us... This will give us... Uh, 300 gold. Marching to war. So lot, there's gonna be lots of battles this this turn. Some big, some small. Give them no quarter, so take let's kick off. Take... Are you back? Are you back, Vodka? You still uh, are? You still uh, doing doing the the work? You are back. Lovely to hear. I'm guessing from what you're saying, it went well, but uh, tiring. And look at the, this forest. Look how thick this is. Oh my goodness. I really don't want to fight in that. So I'm relying on my archers here. Can we come over here? Let's just see what they do. They might... They come to me? Looks like it. Alright lads, let them have it. You got one job offer and two potential job offers where it was you definitely should apply to us. Are you, were you looking for job offers? What? I didn't, I thought you were going to tr to train people, not to... Not to collect on job offers. <laughs> Alright, sure. I mean... I guess, I guess that checks out. Yeah, she did a really good job training people. The one company legit walked up to me when my boss was gone. Hey, I am direct. You want? We want you. So how do we want? How do we get you? Oh my goodness, dude! You must be very good at your job. When your boss was gone, she. So, and a lot of these lads potentially like get them to engage with us and have the archers still firing. If we continue like keep firing, what do you think this is? Shoot him. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Friendly fire, be damned. Fire him. Kill him. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Whack. Come on. Man of the hour, please. I'm, I'm fishing for man of the hour, so. Oh, that's good enough. Be awed by the victory we have won here to I told my boss and he laughed and said that is a good sign. What? <laughs> Do you So question I mean the fact that you went and told your boss this means that you're probably not considering? Like, I don't know, like you're you're happy where you are, you don't really want to change what you're doing?
Yeah, you're not looking to switch. Yeah, so it's just a bit funny that they're like... They're like, uh, yeah. Here. Come and, come and work for me. Come and work for me. Yeah. This was your side gig because you're on vacation. Yeah, yeah. I... Uh, you yeah, man, you're living living the wildlife. Wildlife for 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 an adult, you know. Okay, next battle. These two lads. Yeah, we'll just keep life. just keep poking them now. What I want to do, see, I'm fishing for this man of the hour. Oh, if there's no mountain oryx there. Have a taste of my blade. Actually, that might inflate their balance of power a little bit, so it may give us better like better odds at getting a man of the hour. Once again, we want to use the cell sword if anyone needs to die. Which I think someone will here. Yes, Miller. So we'll, we'll, we'll score ourselves day. another 600 gold, or oh no, 300 gold. We're kind of hanging on by a thread in this campaign at the moment. It's it's tedious. Uh, stay here. Uh, it's the same battle map, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just come up here. Same thing. We'll, um... We'll just come over here. Fine. No, uh, probably the hill's the best spot. Come over here. Stand on the hill. Alright. Cell swords. You'll be the one to go in. Everyone else. Hide. Flee. No, don't flee. But hide. Little, what little forces we have. Alright. The cav is dwindling. It's a bit of a concern. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Take out this guy first. Come to this side. Yeah, the cav, cav is really dwindling. Okay. Well, yeah, the biggest potential job offer was account manager in Finland for a large and growing company. Fairly recently got brought up by a French conglomerate, but after a long and fruitful discussion, I told them that I want to see my current projects to the end before switching. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair enough, you know. And that actually just wants to make... That actually, you know, that actually makes them want you even more. Yeah, that makes you even more desirable. That you've like actually know loyalty is important to me and I've got these jobs I'm working on and um, you know, I don't just wanna, you know, leave people hanging. Um and they're like, Man, we really, really want you now. You've just <laughs> just done the We want we want you even more trick. Or sandwich by accident. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Take out these crossbows. Oh, the goblin band. Same thing. The battle is only half the enemy force remains. Are you in a route? No, okay, pull out. I thought these were crossbows. My mistake. Oh well, it still worked out. Everyone out and everyone back in. Now they should go. The enemy general lies dead. They, they should be doing. Thank you. Behold like. how our cowardly foe runs. Okay. It's time to press the attack. What? There's still someone alive in there? No, they're not. Okay. All right, let's go down here then. Now, the we're gonna shoot the these lads. No, don't want to shoot that. You want to shoot these lads? I said the ones we want to kill are right in the front. Let's just go get them. Go get them. Over there. You come to try and take out the, uh, this thing. They stop it from firing. Pull up, pull up. Don't stay in, don't stay in. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Pull up, pull up, pull up. 
And Ray Ray hit him again. Back for them. The battle is very Shoot her out them. Favor. Okay, good. The will be ours. They're gone. Pull out, pull across, pull across. Don't, don't engage the these lads. They need to die by the archers. Send one more over there. You chase after them. Okay, let's go. Take out the Flame Wrangler crew. Half the enemy force remains. Firing? Should be, yep. Where's the one who I want to take casualties? This one? Down there. Are they running? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think they're trying to run. I'm in the rear. If we continue like this, we will Got smash him. the enemy. We've captured the enemy. Okay. <laughs> that will teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and behold how our cowardly foe runs. This is a clear victory. Easy. I mean, yeah, well, these are... Thing is, these are just little battles we're trying to take out. Um, because we can't let them group together. If, if we let them group together, then we can't take them. Because we got an army that is long away from home. Um, and there's no real reinforcements coming anytime soon. So, they are... We need to keep just, like... The cav is just slowly dwindling down, slowly using losing units. The day is Come on, man of the hour, man of the hour, do it! Oh, you it's just yes. can't retrain no, nothing. Can't retrain anything here. Okay, so that's the second battle done. We're waiting there. You. I mean, I'd like to take that out. No reason to let that sit there. We've almost got a full army here again. Okay, so we'll take this out. Uh, what's in here as well? I have a spy somewhere. My lord. I'm gonna stick you. Okay. Approaching quietly. Have a taste of my blade. I lord. Marching to war. Take this we out as well. To war, Goblins baby. just walking all over my lands. The troops are assembled. <sighs> for battle. Yeah, man of the hour gives a new general. I'm, I'm search. I'm hunting for some man of the hours to get some generals. Keep them at a distance. What? Can you give a too much information version of your toilet visit? Probably not. I mean, I'm probably okay with it, but I'm more concerned about, you know, other people here. <laughs> Just... 
Now, Cav charging through forest is, is, is not particularly great, but okay, we'll kick things off. You try and line up these crossbows. Line them up. You scoot down the edge. Charging through the forest. Lovely. Love to see it. Out. These archers. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Good tidings. Nice. Enemy general lies dead. Go for the crossbows again. Pull out. How long? Um, soon. End of this turn. Oh, look at those goblins drop. Go again. Go again. Then I shan't. Hit this goblin infantry again. Keep killing them. Pull out. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Oh man, they're just charging through the forest at me? I think this is. Yeah, they're coming to me. I'll pull out, I'll pull out. Stop wasting my... Stop wasting my units. Can we get a, a better line formed up? Okay. Crossbows, hit those. Let's go. Hit him. Send him flying, lads. Pull out. Oh. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. We're making a little bit of gold from all these little battles. 300 gold per victory, so, you know. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay. Almost wavering. Pull out. How have they not gone yet? Killed their captain. I thought they would have routed by now. The heck? What is this? There's another unit? Oh, they're the crossbows? Was there, was there another unit? I thought there must have been two crossbow units. I thought there was only one. Whoops. The whole time I was, thought I was, thought I was only killing the one crossbow unit. There was two. That's. Wait, spread out a little more. Coming over through the trees. Hey, goblins. Welcome to the forest. Damn stupid ass goblins. I would fly. Hey, good. Are you guys still here? What is going on? How our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press Kill him. Kill him. You gotta go now. Okay. I shall try flying in a wind tunnel. Take care. Okay, you're getting as weird as Tetra with his with his intros. Have <laughs> a good one, man. This is a clear victory. 464 kills, Greenway Riders. Very nice. 196, Merchant Cav. <sighs> man of the hour? <laughs> I can't, I won't get a man of the hour from that. I'm trying. Execute. I'd love to get a general into Fenestrunen.
Nothing. My lord. Nada. Zippo. Hey, so that's like a full army, right? So where could I send this? I mean, over here somewhere, right? Just Tahuan is exposed at the moment, so I can't send too much. Did we get this building? Yeah, nice. We got that building. Perfect. Uh, are there any mercenaries here? Your orders, my lord. No mercenaries. What about over here? With honor. No mercenaries. Yes. yes, my lord. Put down a watchtower there, yes. though, since we've lost that territory. This I need to. Will keep vigil over the land. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so let's will, position here then. Yes, my lord. With our troops. Send the cav. Send. Ah, oh, we sent them back. Alright, we'll see what we can do. We'll send some more units in that direction soon. We can get an army over to take Anon and a rod. That'll take pressure off Kazadun West. Um, well, a little bit. Not, not really, actually, because they're still bordering, so they can still attack. But it'll take some pressure off because I'll stop spamming out so many units. Um, this is quite a large battle. I think I think I need to finish up there. Mrs. Mrs. EPM is tucked her head around the corner, and uh, I do need to go. The the <laughs> it's not I don't have as much free free reign as what I uh, as what I did a little bit a little while ago, just just for the time being at least. Um, so that's all all set. We got Bilbo back in. Um, got some more units coming. Everything is looking up. We got a couple of big movements potentially coming here. So, I mean, I would do it now, but I'm out of time. So, Alfred, um, we'll probably siege that. We'll go in. We'll also take this little army here. Uh, we won't siege that. But um, we'll keep moving over towards the goblins. We could get, we could take this back as well. I mean, if we get one, two, and three in reasonably quick succession, that really has to hurt the goblins mainly and hold hold our line here and we're coming to relieve this over here as well so the well, next part is going to be a lot happening uh so if you watch on youtube sure to like subscribe comment and share and i think sometimes it's it's good when there's challenges you know it's, it's we're not just steamrolling at the moment we are getting thrown back um and rebuffed so that's that's always fun because it extends the period of the game where where it's difficult and you really gotta really gotta work. So that's that's where we're in at the moment. We're we're surrounded. We're fighting hammer and tongs. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.